Day 2 of the Euronaval 2018 press trip. This morning we're at Brest Naval Base in Brittany. We are learning more about the EOD diving team's missions and equipment of the French Navy. Uh, I'm uh, Commander Benoit. I'm at the head of the French Mine Warfare School and Training Department. But our main mission is to maintain uh, the capacity of any French SSBN to go in and out and clear the area of the Brest and Toulon Harbour. We extend this mission to all the economic harbours uh, of the French coast, from the Channel to the Atlantic Ocean and the Medi Mediterranean Seas. We also conduct this, just this kind of mission with our allies countries or on the strategic areas. Uh, for example, on the Persic Gulf, every two years we perform a, a six-month deployment of two mine hunters and one mine clearance diving team to uh, update our database and our knowledge of the area. The mine warfare units, uh, we have ten mine hunters uh, split in Brest, between Brest and Toulon and uh, three mine clearance diving team, one in Brest, one in Toulon, and the last one in Cherbourg. This UV is called A9, and we can use it for uh, mine warfare operation, of course, in uh, narrow areas and uh, for example in harbors or during amphibious operation near from the coast. This is quite new, we, we've got uh, this equipment for five years now and uh, we still improve uh, the way how to use it. Thanks to this equipment we can make, uh, we can cover bigger areas with a shortened time. So this equipment in France is called SPPA, it's a, a portable sonar for divers. So the divers use it uh, for detecting and uh, classification of uh, any underwater contact. So we can use it after a uh, UV mission for uh, identification of the sonar contact. Either you can use it for amphibious operation uh, by the divers and they can uh, swim with it detect any contact and make the identification of them. This equipment is quite new and it perfectly fits in a, as a complementary equipment with uh, the A9, for example. The future of mine warfare will use a great deal of unmanned systems. We are now seeing for the very first time the USV of Thales as part of the future SLAM-F program. What we see is the surface a vehicle, which is a completely uh, remotely operated vehicle that we uh, call a USV for unmanned uh, surface vehicle. And uh, this is the first boat uh, of MMCM program uh, that is uh, loaded with the TSAM uh, payload, that is the uh, towed sonar, uh, the new uh, Thales sonar that would uh, allow to uh, uh, improve drastically uh, the, the, the quality of image and then the global efficiencies of the operator uh, working on the, on the navies. That one is the uh, Thales asset, but we will deliver two USV, one for uh, Marine Nationale, the other one for uh, Royal Navy in UK. The MMCM is a system of systems. We have different assets constituting the toolbox. Uh, uh, the USV is uh, one of them. The USV is able to uh, carry two different payloads, the TSAM for uh, localization of the mines and the uh, remotely operated vehicle, the ROV, that uh, will be used for final identification and neutralization of the mines. And in addition to this, uh, to operate in more deep water, we have uh, autonomous uh, underwater vehicle 
that is also fitted with the SAMDIS sonar that allow to operate up to 300 meter depth and which is completely autonomous, not linked to the USV. And uh, uh, on top of this, we have a communication system, a secure encrypted communication system with three different channels, uh, three different ways. And uh, finally, we have the uh, control and command center that is completely uh, portable, either uh, on a mothership or uh, to be uh, installed uh, on land near the field of operation.